Oops, sorry, must have been daydreaming again. Have I mentioned recently how much I miss the sun? Wow, that's some wind and rain right there. Look at it coming across the water. <laughs> Yeah, it reminds me of a storm in Canada. Oh, guys, <laughs> yes, it's strong, very chilly. <laughs> it's, uh -huh. I think this is the first time <laughs> then I saw a storm like this with a lot of wind. It's like 35, 14 knots today. Yeah, today's not as much wind as yesterday. Not yet. But it's really horizontal rain. It's leaving quite a pattern on the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I prefer this song than the sandy storm, but... Yeah, these storms better than thunderstorms. <laughs> yeah, cool. Can't see much of it there right now. Island's gone. Except over here, we just start to see the buildings again. San Andres become a Nordic island. <laughs> yeah, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> that would be bad. That was fast. That's a party. <laughs> yeah. Be happy you're not out there. Be happy you're not out there. It's nasty. Yeah, what are these guys doing out this? <laughs> I think they go on shore this morning. Hello, time to go for a ride. Yeah. Hey, the little boat is still there. But is it just me or does it look like it's sinking? Uh, I, I think some piece is broken now, you can see? I think it's half underwater. Yeah. And some piece is broken. Shit. Outside. That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah, it must have hit hard on that wreck. I suspect it's got a hole in it. It looks really low in the water now. Man, that's a shame. Yeah, that's what everybody says. That boat's been sitting here for over two years, never moved in all these squalls and all that time. And then this one yesterday knocked it off its mooring for the first time. And now it's probably going to be over with the rest of them in the cemetery, unfortunately. That, my friends, is the cemetery. 
Ooh, what's Maddie got? New toys. New no, <laughs> toys, yeah. I make a save of our future food. Yeah, they're almost as exciting as new toys. We've been waiting to get something like this for a long time. I think uh, I don't need to refill all, no? Vacuum pack storage. Nice. Fill it as much as you can. I like think this, because we have these valves that need to stay... Yeah, you can still put a bit more in. More? A little bit more, maybe. This. Yeah, just in the middle. Put in maybe another one or two scoops. And then we'll try it. This. You gotta unscrew it. There you go. And push. And now just keep pushing until it gets difficult. <laughs> Make it exercise for the first aid yep. or rescue people. It's vacuum. It's not possible. Open. Right. Okay, so good. You got a good vacuum seal. That's good. Yeah. So and how do you open it now? Open. We push this valve correctly. Little vacuum release. Cool. Wow. And you see the lid just pop up. Oh, open. <laughs> and open. Wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> how cool is that? Yeah. Okay, now I start to push another time. Yeah. Good. Perfect. It's very simple. <laughs> Maddie's new gym. <laughs> part of your workout. Oh, I made a party for the rescue <laughs> people. Uh-huh. Okay. Practicing your CPR. Okay. Now. Good. I push. And turn, yeah. And turn. That locks it. Okay, and it's very nice because you can Perfect. reopen what do you want, what do you, time you need, put more stuff inside when you can use it. Mm -hmm. And great. Yeah, we only got two of those as a test, but I can tell already we need to get some more. And we have the little one. Those are I awesome. So. Our junk storage room. <laughs> got the baby one too. Yeah. So just for experiments, we wanted to test them. And this size is very useful for peanuts, walnuts, um, almond, pinion, uh, a little stuff. Uh, very good size. Yeah, it's quite exciting actually. We've been waiting for containers like this for a long time. Isn't it amazing how easily we're entertained on a rainy day? <laughs> you push? Uh-huh. Just practicing our vacuum containers, but hey. Uh oh. Gotta do something, and this is part of our long term storage plan because this is how you keep bugs from eating the food, like pastas, rices, anything like that. Always have been a big issue because if you keep them on board for more than a month or two, they come with bugs in the packaging. They might be microbes, but they grow and they just start growing from eating the food from inside the packaging. So that's something I've become very tired of and we decided that this is going to be the way it helps fix that. So that's why we found these first two. And we've ordered a bunch more from Amazon. So we're going to be testing some different styles and see which ones are going to work best for us long term. But so. uh, one, uh, one question. Hmm. For the tomato sauce or something like this, yeah. for you walking to for remove to the can? No, you leave them in the cans, This is, but if you make tomato sauce and you want to make it last a long time, you can put it in this, vacuum it, and then freeze it, or, you know, chill it, anything. As long as it doesn't have any air exposure, then yeah, you can keep it almost indefinitely, because it's air that, it, air that ultimately destroys things. Yeah. So putting it in a vacuum pack means no air, means longevity, long term, long term storage. Yeah, very, very, very happy, guys. Very cool. Okay, Mario. Yeah. 
Hola. Hola. Estoy haciendo el carpaccio que es de Italia. Carpaccio de Mario. Yeah. And he got, eh, e lui, no, e él está cortando el carpaccio con el machete del capitán. Mira, mami. Charby. Mira. Tenés cuidado, pienso que alguien quiere ponerse al lugar del capitán. <laughs> My name is Rick Rico. Rápido, Rico. <laughs> Fast and delicious. <laughs> I've been called worse, that's for sure. The new slogan and cooking with the capitan. <laughs> and today we have a Mario chef. Yes. From San Andres, Colombia. He's middle Colombian and middle Italian origin. And he cooks very delicious carpaccio with arugula and grana. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Uh, here we have the captain. Then today decide Mario don't work, Marco. work less, <laughs> work less, sell it's more. Day off. Everybody needs a day off. Yeah. It's Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Time to put your feet up. Gotta do it one day at least. I hear some Italian swear words up here. Yeah, he's a little born. Uh oh, they waited too long. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you have to do my job too. It takes too, more time than you think, right? <laughs> too much stuff together. Oh, it still looks good, and it's just the crust. It's okay, I don't eat the crust anyway. Uh, only one part, the another is very good, the yeah. another size. Yes, yummy, and with the pepperoni and pineapple for make happy the captain mm, for yeah. his day off. Love it. It's very hot, the pan. Oh, get the and, hell out of the way. Uh, yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> and there she goes. Oh my god, that smells good. Mmm. Oh, wow, wow, Yummy. Wow, wow. <laughs> now he prepare the lemon juice for marinade the carpaccio. We have the arugula, just clean it. Para marinarlo, ahora vamos a echar un poco de sal y pimienta negra. Add the lemon, the salt, the black pepper, balsamic vinegar and uh, oil. Yeah, sí, sal. Where you learn? Sorry? YouTube. <laughs> Perfect. Listo. Mario, ready? Listo el carpaccio. Yummy. Mmm. Madalena's fresh Italian pizza. Made on Captain Rick's Pizza Stand Pizza Stone that we almost got arrested for. Thanks Mario. Gracias Marlena. Oh, gracias Mario. Gracias sí. Mario. It's a mix. <laughs> it's lunch time. Bienvenidos a mi bote. Sorry guys, gotta go. <laughs> it's about to be served. Pizza's already on the table. You know that's my cue. Okay. Bueno, bye for now. I was late for everybody. He told uh, that he's a very honored to cooking some Italian dish for an Italian girl. <laughs> and enjoy all. I hope. Enjoy. We will. Muchas gracias, amigo. Yo, I like it. Sure, I like it. <laughs> sure. Lunch time.
<laughs> yeah, to say that life has returned to normal here <laughs> would be an understatement. I think this is the busiest day I've ever seen. It's like, wow. <laughs> It's rainy season, it's still raining like hell every hour, but everybody's out in droves. And it's a Tuesday, I think. <laughs> Quite a day in San Andres. Normal day. Yeah, things are back to normal. The quarantine. Stores are open, people out walking, all the shops are open selling their wares. <laughs> Finally, some form of normalcy, but don't go to the beach. No. We will take your dinghy. <laughs>